everyone wants to become a champion. But very few understand what it really takes. Many think that you can just go from the darkness to the light within a few seconds. But behind every champion lies a story. A long road of sacrifices, setbacks and doubtful moments. In an environment where nothing is given, everything is earned. This is the story of the first ever Jordan Olympic champion. And oh my gosh, with another beautiful flying kick. The accuracy, the timing, the power. It's an exciting player to watch. John, I'm telling you, this kid is special. Ahmed Abagosh from Jordan is a new Olympic champion. My story started as a young boy, born and raised in the city of Amman, Jordan. As a child, I used to be a troublemaker. So my parents wanted me to do Taekwondo, to teach me some discipline. Back then, I didn't really like going to Taekwondo classes. All I wanted was to play soccer. But everything changed four years later when I joined the national team. This is when I truly felt in love with the sport, when I found my purpose. Being able to compete and to represent my country all over the world is the reason why I fight. It is the reason why I train every day why I am constantly trying to become the best version of myself. To become faster. Stronger. And smarter about the game. But my road to become an Olympic champion was far from being easy. At 14 years old, I was already in the senior national team and I had just won the junior world championship. But then adversity came, injuries. I first broke my hip and couldn't walk for two months. Came back and tore my right ACL the following week. I was out for a year, came back again and two weeks later tore my left knee. I was out for two straight years. This was by far the hardest challenge I had to overcome. The doubts of not knowing if one day I will be able to recover my full capacity. I was hearing everywhere that my career was over, that I will never be able to come back. So many people doubted me, but actually gave me the strength to want to show them that I could do it. In 2012, I was watching the Olympic Games on TV, and this is when my mission for Rio started. Right there, right then, I gave myself a challenge of becoming the next Olympic champion. I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics say ain't used to. Victorious. 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 In this day and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative. Time too big to waste on so my time on critics hating. Flattered by your opinions to show you I'll just embrace it. Now watch a worldly sunrise up. No daylight savings go nuts when I have to. Glaze built my sound in this beast on the house that we dreaming. Watch me way back up in the castle. My thoughts are distorted. Cause I recall guys were hating uncommonly. All of them became common denominators. 
latest, hold up Try to overlook a rival All eyes on me cause I got no competition Now looking at an idol You're doing long enough to pay for my attention Man, it's the gospel for the black sheep I guess it got a banging ring to it Quiet with triumph on the rap lead So all of you mother can sing to it I was born to be victorious Most definitely victorious I'm destined to be glorious For all I hate that this baby remain glorious I was born to be glorious Most definitely victorious I'm destined to be glorious For all I hate that this baby remain glorious But this challenge would have never been possible without the support of my coach, my family, my best friend, and many others. All I can say is that Taekwondo has definitely changed my life for the better. I am now leading a new generation of young players who are looking up to me. My message to them is that no matter what happens to you in life, you must never quit believing in your dreams and fight to defend them. Because if you don't, somebody else will. My name is Ahmed Abu Ghosh from Jordan, and I fight to become a legend.